All right, so in this video, we're going to begin to make the uh, the hummingbird act as sort of like a visual indicator for something that is going on uh, with our screen, okay? So, Nick, we're going to actually yank those two uh, blocks of code. You can just delete them completely. Um, what we want to do is we're going to make Scratch the Cat move over here, and then whenever he collides with something, then we're going to turn the light on. So, uh, let's go ahead and say uh, Control. So when, um, and let's just do like maybe a, I got a better idea. Let's go events. When this, uh, not the space bar, maybe let's go put an arrow key. So grab that over there. We'll say when the arrow key, just do right arrow. And we're going to move, scratch the cat. So we'll go up there to motion and hit move 10 steps. Okay. Just to make sure this works, go and hit that arrow key a couple times here. There he's moving around. Okay, great. So, uh, in your code, you might have all sorts of different things going on. Um, then, we want to check. Do we have a way of going to those events? Let's see. When he collides with something else, we need another sprite. Let's grab another sprite over there, Nick. Uh, yeah, new sprite right there. Yep. Perfect. Pick something that Scratch the Cat might like to collide with here. The airplane. Perfect. All right, let's put the airplane right over there. Let's put Scratch the Cat over there on the left side. Okay. Do we have a win this sprite when he collides with something else? No, I'm not seeing that here. All right. Let's go ahead and when the green flag is clicked, drag that down. We're going to constantly check to see if Scratch the Cat collides with the airplane. So let's get a forever loop. So we're going to constantly check. That's going to be in your control. And let's get a forever loop. And then there's an if statement. So we want to say if. Mm -hmm. We'll put that inside the forever loop. And then we need a condition inside there. The conditions are going to be over there in the sensing. When touching. Yep, there you go. Grab that and put that right in there. When touching. Instead of saying mouse pointer, keep going. Airplane, right there in the bottom right. Okay. So when we touch the airplane, we're going to turn the light on. So go up there to more blocks and hummingbird LED. There we go. So let's go and hit the green flag to start our program. And then you can use arrow keys. Hold on, put the LED really close to the screen so I can see them all there. All right. And let's move scratch the cat. Ding. All right. So now you've got... Um, sort of a different way, sort of a nice physical, visual way of something happening when something happens in your game. And so you can make your, your games a lot more interesting. Uh, later on we'll show how to attach the vibration motor so that when something collides something else, maybe the vibration motor turns or the servo motor spins or whatever. So you, you actually have the ability of making your games, I don't know, a lot more interactive and interesting based on that. So just to kind of see the code there one more time, we've got just a forever loop and just like normally we would have like the score change or something happened, we just have the, the light turn on. So, all right. Thanks, Nick. Mm -hmm.